shot by who the Facebook game is in the building. Into the end zone. Four Nation, stand up. That is. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. They're making some plays with Mr. Saunders. Bro, he got Colorado. I got Texas. He's running. Dude. Running with Colorado right there. The offense, first down. You? Yeah. Looking for a gap. It's Hayes. The Buffalo. Bro, I still got this. Bro, this is irritating me that every game I got to go in here and change and change running backs, dog. Like, who decided to put the slow running back as Bama starter, bro? He probably got in trouble. Travis Hunter is cooking wow. right now. Nice job here from Just like that. Is he black? Hater. Patrick. Freshman QB this year. Okay, Colorado. Maybe I'm just getting a little better tonight. He stopped him at the 45, but that's good for a first down. I know people want to talk about the spread and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, oh, it's dusting it. down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you. All right, you're a GM. You're on the clock. Travis Hunter. You need wide receiver. You got to pay a DB who's a veteran proven on your field, on your team. What do you do? Down he goes. A sack. You got to do what? You, know, a lot of times when you, see a sack like you got a veteran you DB who needs to be paid, or you can draft Travis Hunter. What do you do? Who's the veteran DB? We'll say he's all pro caliber. Moving at the second level of the defense now. Like Welcome right now, if it's luxurious need, I'm keeping Snead. Not taking the versatile multi-threat weapon that could be added to your team. Mm -hmm. Kill two needs, one player, two picks, two picks. Because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting. Only reason why I say that is because like. I could take Travis Hunter, then I got to hope he got to be healthy. You don't think he's healthy? For too much wear and tear? Like, it's a lot of pressure for what they, they got, what all they got there with him. All world. Troy Brown was able to do it in the NFL. I don't think he's going to Travis Hunter. Not knocking on uh, Troy Brown, but he played wide receiver and DB. Well, I'll I, I, I put like this. I'll put like this. I might drive Travis Hunter. I might drive Travis Hunter. You've got to trust that he's going to make the right decision and throw an I like take old boy on the Cowboys like you got Diggs and old boy, which is cut up good lane. Yeah. You getting rid of one of them to get Travis Hunter? Hmm. Right now, if we're just talking economics, maybe less I got to pay. I'm locked into paying him the minimum amount for four years, but if we talk about chemistry and cohesiveness, if I, I keep the guys I got in my locker room. Second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Trying to find some room. It's Miller. Let's walk off. Make it into the end zone. Let's play one defense right here in this game is ours. Because he ain't gonna have no run defense for Colorado. But he might be a dot master though. That's the only thing you get in these games, like somebody might be a dot master and be dotting your life away. You praying. Because the night my switch stick, I've been switching it and just dropping picks. I don't think that's been happening a lot today. <clears throat> they dropped a little mini update. Shador uh, is going to be pretty good. He's going to be like one of those Jeff Garcia style quarterbacks. He get in the right system. Once he gets in rhythm, he really start cooking. I mean, put it like this: push your door on the Browns right now, and relieve them of them sixty-seven million dollars they paying Deshaun Watson. Yeesh. that money's paid, bro. <laughs> like guaranteed, guaranteed. It don't matter if you're with you. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. I can see him on the Browns with that elite defense. You don't know what you're gonna do with Russell Wilson or Justin Fields. You know what I'm saying? So. I could see that uh, being a viable option. You know, that's a good football coach. I think Deanna respect in the Rooney family. 
moves the ball to the 29. I could have seen Shadour on like the Dolphins. Yeah, when I told people not a couple make years ago, the whole contract, you know what I'm look, I told people that a couple years ago, and some people was like, "You crazy? You see what Tua doing out there?" And I'm just like, "Listen, listen." Two high ankle sprains in the hip, bro. Like he's young. They wanted him to really retire with the concussion, but they was like, "All right, man, you got it." You know what I'm saying? Like that's what they wanted. But they, they, I guarantee you, if there's an option to draft a a, a build up or a bridge quarterback in the next draft, they're taking him. You'd be crazy not to in this that, league. That, they like they they in the position that like what Atlanta should have been feeling like. Yeah, we got to but we let draft grab Michael nice Penny. <laughs> yeah. Like, just because of his help. Like they didn't already let this man like be in a situation where he should have never been in. Four quarterbacks made the playoffs last year that were back up, so it's like it ain't like it's a far fetched to to have a next man up on your roster anyway. I mean put him on the Saints. I can see him. Well, they just got a uh, Spencer Rattler. That's gonna be his team in a couple of years. <laughs> Spencer, well, I, I take Spencer Rattler over Carr. Uh, not right now. I'm saying like not right now. Yeah. Instead, you go play action and you throw to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. If you put Dak Prescott on the Jets, they're they're an elite team. I don't care what nobody says. I don't think so. You don't think so? With those receivers, that running game, that defense? So he breaks the two-minute warning as this offense uh -huh. tries to take the lead here before wow. halftime. Hot take. This is the sixth play on the ride. Hot take. I know I sound like a cowboy like, like, uh, put that press defender. Out on the Seahawks. I think they make the playoffs, too. I think he's the better version of Geno Smith, but not as good as... They make the stop. Josh Allen. Guaranteed his dude running ball. Looks like inches to go and now fourth down. Well, a quick short throw here. Not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper. Because just broke one down the middle on us. But they That's come cool. up a little bit short. So now it's decision making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. Damn, he ran with so you doing. Quarterback gets down to avoid the time. Sanders got to die mag. He's like breaking the game down, playing it very slow. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. The Buffaloes will line up on first and ten. Off the play fake. What is you what do you think is the the overall best part about this college football game and its release and, and how they wrote it out? The road to the playoffs, how I set up the season, uh, no X factors. I guess it's, 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 it's quite a few things. Second down play coming up. What do you see carrying over to Madden? Gonna test the secondary. Um, hit stick, tackling mechanic, switch stick. Um, reg seasons, lock playbook. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and I can long. dig it. I can dig it. Dropping Do you think going without oh, what, what are we doing? Behind the line of Do you think going with all these updates and improvements? Um, EA has listened to the community on both sides and don't want to sacrifice the microtransactions, but at the same time still keep some kind of the, the casual player base locked in as well. The, the amount of money they made with this game, like, I feel like they don't have to worry about the 2.2 million people playing on pre on pre-orders at $150, bro. Like, I mean, you know, those people... Too. How many of you, I'm about to say, how many of those people got the $158 edition and not just the $100 edition? A good, a good portion of them. Looking to pass, it's That's probably the best game in, gaming, bro, bro like, I've seen in the last How is that not a pick years. six, bro? Like, this dude is, like, trying to throw me the ball, bro. Offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. Yeah, that's probably the best game and bundle I've seen in the last five years. God damn, bro. Good pass. Looks to the left, and it's complete. They got him. Crash Apex and gave us EA football all in mad. Bro, god damn, bro. I had this motherfucker box in. And you don't get pressure from your defensive line. You're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. 
And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Defense getting very heavy here. We're going to stuff the run. On second and goal, they hand it to him again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment before this important play. And the defense hold up here on third. Caleb and Daniels win rookie of the year. Jaden Daniels? Jaden, no. Caleb Williams, my fault. Try to muscle mm -hmm. toward the end zone on the ground. You don't think so? He got a lot of weapons out there. He's probably going to be like a defensive player or something. One might say he's the greatest rookie. He's the, he, he has the greatest opportunity any rookie has ever had walking in with all these weapons. He, he won't play better than uh, CJ Stroud did year one. Ben Roethlisberger went to the Super Bowl, but that's here and all there. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. I don't think Kyler Williams nice being that. Here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Return here from inside the 15-yard line. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. I think I might switch all my football content to an Xbox. Wow. Uh, just trying to confirm if my growing theory is correct. Like, am I better? Is it a mental thing or am I better based on the hardware? Or is it a combination of mental both? Thing. Like, I just want to test. I think I think you play is the mental thing. Back out there on the field. To the air, it's Sanders. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Pick the ball off, bro. Like, this man is going to the only person that's got two people on it, ten people on it. Ironically, that's what, what was on my scouting report, IRL. <laughs> was it? Uh, easily rattled. It was like high IQ, high motor, very intelligent, easily rattled. Like, okay, I don't even know what that means. And that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, Ooh -wee. it came Ooh -wee. He's gone. Whip route to the, to the house. Bro, got come him on, man. I'm in cover for Doc. Oh, I'm just damn up, bro. You in a fucking deep zone and you get beat on the street, bro. Like, I just don't get it, man. I don't fucking get it, bro. Like, dog, I, 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 go, I go to fucking three-man line and, and drop eight and the nigga get beat on the street, bro. Like, I don't understand, bro. Niggas 20 yards off the ball and get beat on the street. You do know the ebooks is out right now. The ebook ain't got nothing to do with the street. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, know, you run this play and that shit, bro. you hit left three niggas times, and you uh, click your shoes. Do a streak on a nigga 30 yards off the ball from the 30. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. We're so ready for college football's gauntlet of Saturday. We got LSU, Texas, Oklahoma, Bama, Florida, Auburn. I'm sure there's some Vanderbilt fans out there as well. Somewhere. You know. Bro, you he played me. John the God is getting ran right now. Like a high school batty. It's Milrow. Going for his running back. Looks left and finds his target there. Steps out of bounds after a nice game. Finally, some show of light from this offense. Good job they're finding the back. I'm definitely about to go buy me the Xbox version of a controller tomorrow for PlayStation. Like 1,000%. percent really like the cut there on the route by the running back, getting across the middle of the field. And like you said, the quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly. The equivalent of having to aim for Call of Duty, I feel like. 
They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offense? Make Madden great again. Surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. A shootout, okay, buddy. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Linebackers maybe trying to confuse the line with some movement. In a shootout, okay, buddy. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the hand off. He's gonna fucking stop, boy. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 14. Obama reported 200% increase of streams since NCAA's release. Chick West songs, Mo Obama. Read that wrong. My fault. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Begs the question, what is the stream? would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Oh, yeah. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play yeah. by the defense. After the incompletion, they'll have to try to convert here on third and nine. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And it's caught. Oh my God. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. Talk about aggressive. The head coach keeping the offense on the field inside their own 30. Early movement. Yeah, there back him up. The offense five yards. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense already has one fourth down conversion. They do it for a second time. The DB is backing off from the line now. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Bro, I don't understand, bro. Like, I don't understand. Like, I back this nigga like 30 yards off the ball, bro. Touchdown, Colorado. Well, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. I just don't fucking understand, bro. Like, I can back the nigga 30 yards off the ball. It's fourth down in your life in fucking dime, and this nigga just running a streak, bro. Like, this shit is fucking stupid. PAT puts him up three. Like, this ain't man pressed and the, and the blitz get picked up. This is a nigga going five wide throwing a fucking streak against double coverage, bro. Like, I, I don't get it. Fucking stupid ass shit, bro. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. This shit is ball my high, bro. Mm. Here comes the Alabama offense. On I backed the, the nigga off the ball to guard the underneath Ross myself. They just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula. I think the AI in this game, game is very broken. Looking for some space. It's Miller. If it even exists. Breaking free at the 35. They stop him out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield.
I don't get it, bro. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. I never seen no shit like this, dog. <laughs> it's fucking fourth down. I back niggas off and fucking th gazillion yards off the ball and pass him. Niggas get beat the quarter, on the street. Offense getting set to win a first down play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. I this like defense that is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside. The defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Another positive gain by this back. I tell you, between the offensive line sustaining blocks and this back's vision. And Let me teach you how to buy. Second level this defense. This guy's Tom, what up? Day in the biggest stage of all in the national championship. Moving the receiver around pre snap. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. We've reached the two-minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? Second down play coming up for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Catch made on the right side. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And moves the ball to the 35, and another first down. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Hands off to the left. He's past the marker and still going. And he'll scramble for a first down and importantly get out of bounds to stop the clock. That's a smart play. Chris, you got to be able to tackle better than that. Not only that, the missed tackles, he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. These are the fundamentals of the game, these missed tackles that could cost them the football game. Running game is working. We'll stick with it on first down. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game Boys, plan gets protectable. much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. They look to throw it here on second down. Makes a quick catch. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. The clock is still running. they got to get set quickly. On third down, it's a handoff. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. And the defense will stop the clock at a timeout here. 25 seconds remaining. It's first and goal. Can they punch it in and take the lead? On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Touchdown, Bama! And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. You talk about a big stage and big time pressure and then delivering. That's what this running back just did to be able to give them his three point lead. All right, 23 seconds. He got to go the length of the field. Two timeout. No kick. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it off here and hope the defense can hold on. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. So here we go. Time for a couple of plays. They can try to get it closer before taking a shot at the end zone. Escaping the pocket. Now moving to his right. In the clear. Inbound. 
and bounds. And they finally make the stop, but that's a huge gain in the scramble. He found some space and just went for it. And bounce, he didn't even know it. I knew it. <laughs> Perfect tackle. Right, he got one time. I one tackle this game over, bro. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. The ball falls Jeez, championship. Touchdown, Alabama! And the Crimson Tide has once again ascended to the top of the college football mountain. Man, 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 man. I knew, I knew like when I played somebody with... Comes with, uh, down to who's the better coach team? Who's going to execute better? And just as importantly, not with Colorado, they're going to be dotting. That's a nice win for this. Only thing you can do with Colorado is dots. That is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. We had a fight for that. Every game been kind of like sweated out. Let's go, A, huh?